Welcome back to Texas Weather Live. Check out this amazing video. Yeah, hurricane hunters flying in around Aaron over the weekend. Uh, just amazing footage and great work that those folks do. So important what they do uh, because they're getting data on different levels of the storm that really help with uh, forecasting it. So definitely a, a bit of a bumpy ride when you're going in and out of that eye wall. So super neat to see, yeah, what we call the stadium effect. Really, really cool shot from Hurricane Hunters. That is very cool, especially if you aren't a, a fan of flying, getting to see other folks do that stuff. It's just really, really neat. So yes, the tropics are active. We've got Aaron, still a major hurricane. And then we're watching another area too out in the Atlantic, which this time of year, these waves roll off the coast of Africa and uh, quite, quite busy is how it's really going to be here in the coming weeks. So let's talk about Aaron first. We will get a new update here uh, soon, likely in the next 20 to 30 minutes. But as of last numbers, here's the very latest. If we could take those graphics full, I'll show you uh, what's going on here with Aaron. So winds were sustained uh, 140 miles an hour as of one o'clock throughout portions of the Bahamas, tropical storm watches and warnings in effect that center still to the north of the Bahamas, which is very important. We do expect a slow weakening trend in the coming days, but by the time we get to Thursday morning, we see Aaron right smack dab in the middle between North Carolina and Bermuda. Because the center of circulation is staying offshore, direct impacts, not necessarily a big issue, but there are some other impacts you have to think about. Beach erosion and the rip current risk, that is going to increase. And I know we're gonna see a lot of folks in the coming days, you know, seeing people out there trying to surf. It can be very, very dangerous when one of these monster storms stays offshore, but at least it is staying offshore, which uh, is the best case scenario for our eastern seaboard. So the tropical storm watches and warnings continue throughout the rest of the day today. And when we look at the wind, a lot of those tropical storm forced winds will likely stay offshore too. I think, yes, some outermost rain bands could impact parts of, of North Carolina here on Thursday, but the bulk of the intense wind and rain will stay out in the uh, open ocean. And of course that we like to see. So there's Aaron. We still have another area wave that moved off the coast of Africa, and this has it's about a coin flip chance on development here over the next seven days. I think because it is so far from Aaron, the ocean will get a chance to kind of heat back up and start to see things maybe uh, increase here with temperatures that could help this develop in the coming days. So that's the other area we're watching. The peak of hurricane season is still a little less than a month away, so you're likely to hear us talk about many storms in the Atlantic. Atlantic Basin in the coming weeks. Uh, speaking of Aaron, even though this is staying offshore, it's st still a lot of folks preparing for potential impacts. Uh, Fox's Eben Brown has the latest. Hurricane Aaron is once again a powerful Category 4 storm restrengthening overnight after pummeling Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Wind gusts as high as 130 miles an hour knocked out power to 147,000 people, while heavy rains flooded roads and rerouted cruise ships. Very limited time that you have, so we're going to try to catch a cab or a taxi and do something. From there, Aaron is tracking north, prompting tropical storm warnings for Turks and Caicos and the southeast Bahamas. The storm is not expected to make landfall in the U.S., but it could stir up dangerous surf and rip currents along the east coast this week. Dare County, North Carolina officials are declaring an emergency and ordering evacuations for parts of the Outer Banks, with forecasters warning of waves as high as 20 feet. As these waves come and strike the coast, all that energy is going to break with these big breakers at the coastline, and that's going to increase the rip current risk significantly through the week. Up and down the East Coast, officials are urging folks to stay out of the ocean when rip current alerts are in effect. Don't swim out, don't swim in swim parallel and that rip will cease to grab on you any longer. Aaron is the fifth named storm of the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season, which lasts through November. In Miami, Eben Brown for Texas Weather Live.
Yeah, we still have a long way to go, folks. Like I mentioned, mid-September is the peak, but it's still very active and can be through October and could still have some storms in November. Across